Hi, I'm Cherie Griffin, and I'm with Keller Williams Realty Boise, Turner Group out of Napa, Idaho. Today's Veterans Day, and I just want to kind of get real here. I have two vets in my family. One's my son, retired Air Force, and then I have a daughter-in-law who's also retired. I love them both, and both of them have the post-traumatic syndrome. My uh, son was on a tarmac walking out to his aircraft and it was hit with a missile. Uh, he was probably 100 feet from the plane and got full brunt of it. Did receive shrapnel from it. Lodged in certain parts of his body. One right here in the main artery and one in his leg as well. If it hadn't been for the mass unit getting him out on the turnout that they did getting him into surgery as quickly as they did, he would have been dead. As it is, he's alive, physically alive, but the blast hit him with such force that kind of rattled his brain um, to the point, as many vets do, when um, as soon as they're back home, loud noises, large groups and things like that, they couldn't handle it. My son, uh, when he got back to the States, we... My husband and I would see him and he could be in mid conversations and just pass out. A couple of times we caught him before he hit the ground. Even in driving in a car, he'd be mid, mid sentence and then he'd be gone. And um, he went to the VA and they started loading him up with lots and lots of medicines and me just personally, my feeling as a dope addict to the point that he cloistered himself in a basement with his games and that's how he lived for almost a year kind of a thing and it was rough and he still can't handle loud noises sudden loud noises it covers his head drops um but he had a lot of headaches uh, the blast really messed him up but because of good doctors outside the VA, he was able to find some medications to help. First thing they did is they took him off everything that the VA gave him because he was so dopey and loopy. You know, those first couple of months he was home, he bought a car, he didn't remember it. He bought a house, he doesn't remember that um, kind of a thing. So it was really rough. And um, he met this wonderful woman who was also a vet and they got married and they've got three kids now, but he still can't handle large groups and he still really can't handle a lot of loud noises and all. Neither can she, um, kind of thing. But between the two of them, they make one really strong personality and they make it. Um, I am to, here to say that they're both doing well but they'll never be 100%. Um, but that's okay. He's still here. And I love him. I'm very proud of him and her that they were willing to serve this nation and serve the Constitution. So, what I want to say is, um, if you know a vet, tell them thank you. Give them a hug. Tell them how much you appreciate them. That's really all I've got to say. Veteran Day is close to my heart. I'm Cherie Griffin, and yes, I'm a realtor, and I work out of Napa. But I have a family and two kids I'm very proud of because they're both vets. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.